Have you seen that one Jet Li movie? This comic reminds me much of that movie. The One with Jet Li. The One. It's called The One. Anyway, say what you want about that movie. It had a really cool idea, and I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, now I'm not saying that Parallel Man is exactly like The One, but there are many fun similarities. And before I get into the story, however, let's look at this mission from the beginning. Parallel Man, written by Jeffrey Morris and Frederick Hagen. Uh, now, artwork by Christopher Jones. This comic was submitted to me as a Comixology preview PDF. Unfortunately, I was not able to get this review done in time before the official release. So, as of this video, issue two had already come out. Well, all right. Anyway, so I'll be reviewing the PDF of this comic specifically. So I'll be reviewing the cover, presentation, the art, the story, and the value. Uh, this comic is published by Future Dude at a cover price of $3.99. It is presented as an issue one of seven. Cover, the cover is very warm with its yellows and browns and comic logo in orange. Uh, the scene is a sort of lizard creature riding a sort of dinosaur-like creature chasing down a futuristic, a futuristic motorcycle of sorts. Uh, the issue title at the bottom is Invasion America. On the cover, there's also a quote, a quote by a prominent Iron Man and Valiance Comics co-creator Bob Layton, quoting, A thrilling romp. Overall, this is a nice cover. The art is quite nice and with a very cool-looking scene. However, I think the cover could be better. Uh, right now, the most popping features of the comic is not the scene or the title, but it's the Future Dude branding um, because of color relationships between warm and cool. I feel that if this were on the shelf or a thumbnail in Comixology, that the art just doesn't stand out enough. The branding distracts. Possible improvements would be giving a brighter or contrasting color to the comic logo, like blue, or... or or plus, we, even the futuristic motorcycle could have a mo more blue look, so it visually pops and contrasts with the scene, especially with... Base it's, it looks like two different time periods clashing, and I think that color would help really bring out the... Whoa! I mean, I do like the cover, but for eye-grabbing it... For, but for eye-grabbing of money-having readers, I don't know if it stands out quite enough, but still, it looks really cool. All right, let's open the book. The first page basically gives us the story so far, uh, telling us that there's a multiverse and infinite Earths, some maybe a little parallel, but uh, some maybe not as much. Uh, one of those, quote, one of those Earths, instead of building an atomic bomb to win World War II, the United States developed the ability to travel through the multiverse. After using this advantage to win, their world was left virtually uninhabitable. They were forced to annex other worlds for their own survival. So, kind of like the movie The One, or perhaps a little bit like the series Sliders in that respect, especially certain episodes. I'm totally on board with this. I'm totally on board with this setup. So, before we get more into the story, let's look at the art first. This will be really easy. The art is great. I mean, it's pro. This is... This artist is DC Comics' Christopher Danger Jones, possibly most known for doing The Batman Strikes and Young Justice most recently. The line work is good, the coloring is good, overall page, page construction is good. Really, I have no complaints. It's good art. I do have the physical copy of this uh, comic as well, and the only big difference is that the colors are just slightly darker, but it still looks great. Really, no complaints. On to the story. Well, how do I talk about this comic without giving away too much, really? Um, basically, the plot is as stated in the beginning of the comic. We get introduced to the regime that has the tech and is annexing worlds. And this is issue one of seven, so we need to build some plot, of course. There, We also are introduced to a character that is essentially being a rebel, trying to expose or dismantle the regime that is, is what they're doing. Um... I get a, we get a real fun chase sequence through several pages, as well as exposition. If I were to go a little the webcomic Beacon Presents first issue review style here, um, the comic certainly succeeds. It gives you everything you need in order to decide on if you want to continue picking up the series. Um, 
It's not a completely original piece. There are some troped or archetype characters in this. Uh, no particular character grabs me all that well, not even the main protagonist. Um, the comic strength is the setting, plot, and possibilities. Hopefully, there is much more character development than the coming issues. They all feel a little too cookie cutter for me. Basically, if you liked The One or Sliders or anything that about what I just mentioned here, you'll probably really, really like this comic. Um, and I know I'll be keeping up on this comic. And as I said, issue two just came out and I did just pick that up. But for issue one, 32 full color comic pages in this issue, $3.99, yes, good value. This comic is self-rated as E10, meaning it's good for ages 10 and up. And again, th this was Parallel Man, issue one, uh, written by Jeffrey Morse and Frederick Hagen, uh, artwork by Christopher Jones. You can find this in your local comic book shops, as well as Comixology. Uh, and uh, I'll probably, I can probably get a link to uh, the Future Dude website in the show notes, or probably at the bottom of this video. That is it for this week's comic review, uh, video comic review. Uh, there are text versions of these video comic reviews as well. And after the next video comic review, I'll be just doing text versions uh, because I need my time for video for the new web series that I'll be doing for the Webcast Beacon Network. And I'll announce what that one is on the next episode uh, of the Webcomic Beacon video comic reviews. So um, that is it for this week. See you next, see you for the last uh, video comic review for a while.